this, uh, uh, Mr. Kudrin is, uh, uh, is in a hurry, so he'll have to leave in 40 minutes. And so first, we're interested just to uh, share with us uh, uh, his uh, uh, considerations, uh, what role uh, uh, in different uh, economic political uh, backgrounds. Uh, so the level of financial uh, literacy played. Mm. And uh, in, uh, in my experience, uh, in his experience when he worked uh, uh, in the government and uh, other very important issues. Uh, yeah. So we'll start with that. Alexey Leonidovich, uh, could you? Uh, so all uh, present here, so they work on the assumption that our population, uh, which is, uh, 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 so this, they have they have this basic education, which is Soviet school, and uh, so they, uh, so then uh, there was uh, in, in the curriculum uh, the discipline of political economy, and so that had nothing to do with the market economy, and uh, uh, so that was the basic education. Our financial education started with vouchers, and uh, that's when uh, we all educated people. Uh, so we were uh, laughing at uh, the uh, at the guys who were selling those pieces of paper, uh, so for 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 a bottle of vodka. But now, 20 years later, so I can say that uh, so maybe that guy uh, selling uh, the vouchers was probably right because if I didn't have an access, if I hadn't had an access to companies, uh, assets. Uh, and only on uh, uh, so open uh, uh, auctions, uh, so there's uh, vouchers, uh, so some some buy so specialized uh, shares of Gazprom, uh, so then uh, so now they they, they uh, so they, they bought it only two two twenty two hundred rubles worth of vouchers uh, worth of Gazprom, so then the depository, uh, and then they took it through the uh, so other so we we got uh, so two three bottles of vodka worth of vouchers at that time. And, uh, and uh, so are we uh, uh, literate or are we illiterate? So we, did we do the right thing that we sold our vouchers for a bottle of vodka or not? Uh, so, and before just I start, I'd like to welcome all the participants and the stand because here we have those who are interested in the development of this subject matter, so who are related to the subject matter. I'd like to welcome the teachers uh, of uh, high uh, education institutions, uh, colleges uh, that have this responsibility of uh, holding the financial uh, education uh, lessons uh, so in in different uh, uh, societies and different communities uh, that they need just to bring up this level of education to a higher uh, level uh, so to increase uh, so because we want you to be our allies our conduits and uh, our helpers and supporters because this is one of the key uh, issues uh, in the area of development of the financial markets of Russia and uh, because one of the key uh, uh, issues one of the key challenges because uh, I will tell you why because when I, when, as I was coming to this event so my colleagues uh, were telling me that I was supposed to tell you about some economic general assumptions, and uh, I anticipated your question. So when the uh, Soviet people, the Russian people, so started to learn financial um, uh, illiteracy, and uh, so then the best proof of that of our socialist uh, childhood. Uh, so the famous uh, writer Nosov. So here I he wrote about that boy uh, on the moon. And uh, maybe even don't remember, so this boy's name was Nieznaika, he, uh, uh, and he got to the moon. So let me read that uh, effectively he was saying that in this, uh, in this, in this uh, work, in this novel, uh, so Nieznaika, Ashule and Miga actually set up a shareholding company and uh, so of big plants. Uh, and then, so let me give you the way they, uh, they, uh, they, uh, the line of reasoning so they gave. Uh, so uh, Julia was very much concerned that their shares won't sell and uh, of this company that they issue and then the shareholders company will go bust. And he's like is asking, how will it will go bust? And uh, so because and then because the rest, so because they can just, uh, just a company set up another company, so they will issue shares, so they will spend money, nobody will buy shares, and so they will they will raise money and that's when they say that the company goes bust or goes down the toilet. And so, so, so no one just breaks up, no one uh, bursts, but the society, uh, uh, the, the company, company gets killed, or just it does a gang of bad guys, uh, Kozlik said. So they will issue shares, they will sell, and then they will escape with the money. That's when they say that the society, that the company went bust. And uh, so that's why, just because of these frosters, they don't trust the the honorable, the honorable and honest uh, little guys. And so that was written in 1965. Can you imagine that? 
So and then there are some more intricate discussions, more in-depth uh, insights on how to organize those uh, joint stock companies, as to, so to bring, uh, so to take uh, seeds uh, from from uh, from the earth and to take it to the moon and plant it, uh, plant the seeds uh, on the moon to raise plants. And uh, so anyway, so now just answering your question, my mom uh, uh, worked uh, at a company, and uh, so she got some shares uh, at that time. And uh, when uh, we didn't know what to do, we didn't know what to swap it uh, uh, for, what to exchange them to. And uh, so she exchanged the vouchers for the shares of her company, uh, my mom. And I said, Mom, don't sell. So don't exchange. Wait. Sit on them. And uh, certainly it's not uh, t two bottles of vodka, but actually it would be enough for 20 bottles of vodka. Because she held to the bitter end. And she also said, don't hurry. Uh, stay on. Uh, hold on. So, but, but now, just we need to sell now because the excise taxes on vodka are increasing, and so on, and the and the and, and the shares price goes down. So we need to sell now. Uh, no, she was not. She was not exchanging it for uh, for vodka. Uh, but anyway, some some shares uh, uh, she still keeps. And uh, I I think that in the, in the modern society in developed countries. Uh, so then, uh, so the polls uh, actually revealed uh, that the citizens, uh, more often than not, uh, so they're afraid to fill out a tax declaration, uh, uh, insurance declaration, uh, and uh, so mortgage declaration. So they're so scared to do that. Any documents uh, more than to go to the dentist, and uh, so that was, uh, so that was because very very painful threshold, which was kind of identity point, uh, so which you can compare it with. So people are apprehensive. People are afraid. And uh, so even the adults, uh, adult population, uh, so they are so they are ready to play with modern gadgets, uh, innovative uh, uh, gizmos, and so. But there is always a barrier because people just are afraid, especially if they're abstract, and so they don't know what to make of it. So they need just to think out the line of action. And uh, so there's the way the roadmap, this personal roadmap before the fee. And so, for example, pension, uh, pension insurance, uh, life insurance, car insurance, uh, so to know the tax legislation, it's about deductions, uh, bonuses for health care for many ch children, families. And so this is all a lot of material. And the adults, uh, uh, sometimes it's not, it's not available to them. Or they pay attention to it. They don't know where to look for it, where to find it. So they don't visit. Uh, uh, they don't visit consultants, uh, and so this uh, this is a kind of explanation in simple terms. Uh, so then simple courses, uh, simple training. Uh, so just dedicated a gear to ordinary rank and file customers. This is what we need. So this kind of penetration. Uh, so is attained within the framework of our project that provides for the training and pilot projects, uh, methodologies development. Uh, so which is which targets different groups of people. And uh, I would even go further, and I would say that the civil society uh, that uh, that I've been dealing with, um, uh, uh, and so and NGOs, uh, uh, so can play a great role in that as well, uh, uh, because just to provide support, to help people, and it means that your because your money, your deposits in your banking accounts, so six percent interest, nine percent, so can can actually give you fifteen, twenty percent, if you know how how to do it. Uh, uh, in a better, more sm uh, smarter way, and uh, so then insurance, or hedging risks, diversifying your portfolio of your investments, uh, so or or just uh, uh, applying them to different benefits, uh, tax breaks, uh, uh, applying them to other things, uh, buying something uh, which which provides underpinning. Uh, uh, so you can just your aggregate income so can increase. So depending on a financial situation, it's not difficult to increase your income by 20 percent if you know how to do it. And uh, th this is this is a very good support, sizable chunk of. Uh, so you're getting, let's say, not 10,000 rubles, uh, but your pension, but 12,000 rubles already. And uh, so if you know how to do, how to deal with your money, how to dispose of your assets properly, and. Uh, uh, naturally, just to get into this uh, sphere, to penetrate it, uh, so, which has very low level of education, and uh, so because our Soviet uh, Soviet education did not provide uh, uh, that kind of knowledge, and uh, so in, in in the old times, uh, so we uh, so we were not involved in those instruments because they were not existent. And penetration is very important. Uh, so, according to the World Bank's uh, information, more than 50% of adult population so have no access to financial services whatsoever. 
And so they cannot uh, uh, realize their opportunities. And so that's 2.7 billion people, so general. So, but this, this indicator certainly uh, swings. Uh, about 15% of the population with high level of income, uh, and uh, in other countries, only in developed countries, 17% they have no access to uh, uh, so financial instruments, and to 24% have no access to financial instruments in the developing countries. So more than half of small medium businesses, uh, SMEs, have no access to good financial uh, 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 assets that would help them to develop. But the knowledge, competences, scales uh, certainly uh, widen the opportunities of small, medium businesses. Because the economic growth depends, is contingent on uh, the scale of penetration of uh, uh, this knowledge uh, uh, in the masses. So when uh, so every person just starts thinking, for example, of uh, opening a small uh, uh, so companies selling pies uh, or a little canteen or whatever somewhere just along the uh, highway uh, and so to set it up organize it put it all together just to uh, so to set up certain activities uh, so involve just a very little uh, uh, hired labor uh, uh, very difficult challenging uh, uh, task uh, uh, so pro, uh, pro software development and so adding uh, so all this even simple basic things uh, require so the minimum amount of knowledge so, which later uh, could be uh, 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 so, uh, uh, so because then they will have to come face to face with uh, uh, with uh, responsibilities, insurance, uh, uh, loans, uh, borrowings, uh, financial institutions, interaction. It will all come along. And uh, so then, uh, so when we talk, uh, and so then the wider uh, stratum uh, of people who could uh, dispose of their savings in a better way. So many people come to me for help, even just in recent days. So should we should we exchange our rubles into dollars, uh, hot currency, euros? So they keep asking me, and uh, and, and I uh, always just are looking for some simple things to explain in simple to put difficult things in simple terms, not to explain like for financial brokers, in con in convoluted terms. Uh, there's uh, people who have good background, education, so wealthy people. Uh, uh, so not to explain that way. So with lots of money on their bank accounts. But uh, but simple people. So then 90% of our citizens they don't have much money on their accounts. They live from hand to mouth, and uh, so their savings uh, uh, are no more than to buy a TV set or, or refrigerator or the washing machine. And so not much more than that. And so maybe they're saving for, for a car, uh, for, for an apartment, and they're saving for a mortgage opportunities. And uh, uh, in Russia, uh, where uh, uh, so there's well, non-crisis situations in Russia, always just put in, in three little piles. So dollars, euros, and rubles. Yes, if you have this kind of money. But if if all the, all your money is spent within one year, so all in rubles, and your expenses in rubles, it makes no sense because you depend on Russian inflation uh, than, than the exchange rate. Uh, so these arbitrage opportunities are negligent. And th that is why uh, So it's better just to sit tight. Uh, 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 certainly, maybe there are very simple, straightforward <laughs> things, but they... But I would like to point out that if we have any savings of people, people have savings, and so even even place uh, a large uh, uh, loans, uh, for example, of Russian companies, uh, big borrowings. Uh, so even our state, uh, when they when we uh, uh, borrow money, mm. so we always select the money. We go for the money. Uh, 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 so, which uh, which is even just located in some remote areas uh, of Europe, United States, uh, uh, or other uh, remote developed countries, and uh, we're doing the so-called the road show. So we're telling why uh, uh, in Russia uh, investments uh, would be more profitable, so they will be much better, and so we try to convince uh, the people, the community, and then and then and then we raise and then we raise money from very. Uh, 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 basically educated people have just basic education about what's the shares and bonds, what's the difference, how to diversify their portfolio, uh, because most of that, they don't know much about that. For example, 5% five, five uh, 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 shares uh, uh, interest uh, uh, dividend could be shares of that. So before it was 2.5%, for example, it was now this. Uh, so then so it would be 20% in, in, in bigger stakes uh, of, of um, the uh, uh, hidden interest and the hidden profit.